Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again with another Transformers review. And today's review is going to be on... Legacy Elite One. Now, when this figure was first shown, I was actually quite interested. I mean, the previous uh, figure of Elite that we got before this one was... Well, let's just say it, it was a, a retool of, of Earthrise RC. So, yeah. And well, let's just say any update from a, a retool of FRI's RC is definitely an improvement. So, how does this figure stand up next to the previous Elite figure? Well, let's just take a, a quick look at the packaging first. Of course, we've got the standard uh, legacy packaging. So yeah, standard no window affair, which I'm I've grown used to. Got well, I actually kind of like this uh, vehicle mode, which we'll take a, a closer look at when we uh, look at the, at the figure. We've got Alita in her robot mode, close up of her of her face here. The side we've got some we've got the Autobots. The back, we've got her in both modes. The QR code if you want to scan that to look at her uh, bio. And well, that's pretty much it for the box. And well, taking a quick look at the vehicle mode. Well, I actually really like this. I mean, seriously. This is really cool looking. I mean, it's kind of like some old taxi or something. I just say that because this kind of looks like what a taxi would have, maybe. Well, a, a taxi would obviously have something that says taxi on the top, but that, that's what this reminds me of. I don't know why. Of course, this is meant to simulate the top of her head, but that's not actually her head. This is a faux part. Now, just taking a close look at the detailing, we of course have some uh, uh, ports that you can plug some weapons into. The back, we've got some more ports if you want to plug in some uh, blast effects. So if you want to have a be rocket powered, then go right ahead. <laughs> I mean, on my copy, these can be kind of loose, but still, if you want to, go ahead. <laughs> of course, these are the feet, but still really nice. Of course, have the windshield here, cast in translucent plastic. Got the front of the car here. And well, the, the underneath... Yeah. Although, I will give this credit. It's not as bad as Earthrise RC. And yes, I am going to bash that figure a lot of times during this uh, review. Like, I'll try not to make it up really repetitive, but... Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say, this figure does actually have some element of transformation to it, instead of just folding up and having a car shell slapped on top. For example, the legs actually do form a bit of the car, and the arms do actually come into play here. Whereas with Earthrise RC, you could practically just remove the backpack and have the car and the robot separate. Whereas with this... Well, the legs and the arms do play in into the vehicle mode. So that is an upgrade. And as stated, even though this is meant to simulate the, the top of her head, her real head is right here, so... Yeah. This is just a faux part. 
So if you want, you can just remove that. And I guess this is a good. Uh, uh, well, well, this is a good way to move on to the accessories. And well, she comes with these two guns, both cast in translucent plastic. So these could be energon infused guns if you want. And well, you can just plug these into the top if you want. And you can also combine if you want. So you, can, so you can just plug one gun into the top and plug the other into the side. I'll just show these when they're not combined. So you can do this if you want. And then just do that. And well, are they Blast Effect compatible? Yes, they are! And, well, the, the blue uh, color from the Arx Blast Effects actually kind of go well with these guns. So, yeah. Now... If you want her to still have the little uh, faux head crests and still have the guns, you, you can just plug these onto the sides. And of course, this is how the front of the box shows her. So you can have that going on. And yeah, that doesn't look too bad. And well, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about the vehicle mode. And so, moving on to a quick comparison. Here is, well, here's, uh, I can't pronounce the name correctly. Well, here's uh, Alita with RC, the previous uh, mold. And well, we can definitely see that this is a major improvement. I mean, remember what I said? This is just a freaking like robot just crumbled underneath. And of course, there is the new Studio Series 86 figure, which I might get. Although I do see there with a lot of figures and then I proceed to forget about them as I continue to collect the legacy uh, figures. But yeah, it, if you want an RC figure, I recommend just going for the Studio Series 86 figure, or even just the Studio Series Bumblebee movie figure. But yeah, this, it, unless you want your RC to be a novelty computer mouse, don't get this. But you can pretty much get an, uh, an idea on what the previous Elite figure looked like. Only this was like a much darker uh, red color. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the comparison. And well, just gonna pause this to get up. RC quickly transformed. So if you'll just excuse the brief jump cut. Okay, so I've. I've removed the weapons, and well, let's get on to the transformation. So, the transformation for this is, well, it's not entirely a shell former. There are some parts of the vehicle mode that do come into the robot mode, which you'll see. So to start, we're just going to take these bits of the car, just fold these out. These are, of course, going to be the feet. Um, Unpack the back wheels, get these out. So you just got that going on. Unpack the arms. Essentially just swivel them around. Turn the hands 90 degrees. I'm gonna get the entire 
car moved around. Turned to waste. Split the legs. Move these little bits in. Push this in. Push that in. Well, in fact, first of all, I want to take these bits of the car. Rotate them up. And then push that in. Then just rotate the head around because, of course, this doesn't really come into play. So if you want to, you, you can just remove that to have access to the back port for weaponizers and the like. And they have, well, here's, uh, 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 I can't even uh, talk right, but here she is in robot mode. And well, I actually quite like that transformation. It's not too shell form rated, uh, same level that RC was, but it's still really fun because the legs do form the back of the car. And well, she does still have a bit of a backpack, but it's not this, it's not as big as RC's was, and it doesn't form some hoverboard. And I, I actually quite like the shoulders here. And if you want, you can transform the shoulders in a couple uh, different ways, for like fan mode. And we can do this if you want. You, you can just fold these around to the back. I'm just basing these off different configurations I saw online. But the official configuration is to do it like this. So yeah. Now, taking a quick look at the head. I actually quite like this head. I think it's uh, really uh, ni uh, nice looking. So yeah, the horns are painted. The little forehead thing is detailed. She's even got some uh, painted lips, which R RC didn't uh, bother to have. Well, I'm pretty sure the Studio Series 86 release is uh, correcting that. So yeah. Now, giving her the weaponry, of course, she can just dual wield these, or you can just combine the guns, which I'm not going to show because I just think it looks ridiculous. It's kind of like what Drag Strip does. And of course, these guns can, of course, fire via blast effects. So if, if anything, she's pretty much just firing blasts of Energon. I mean, they are Energon infused uh, guns after all, so. And of course, thanks to the feet, well, well the ports on the feet, she can just have laser feet. Hopefully, hopefully no one's going to be excited by that. Ugh. And well, I actually can't think of that of that many, if any, complaints with this mode. So let's just move on to the comparison with RC. And we can see, once again, there is just no competition. I mean, seriously, I can't I can't even get RC to stand correctly because she's just got that huge backpack that she's going to go camping with. Now, of course, this can come off and form a hoverboard, but yeah, that's a bit gimmicky, in my opinion. I mean, it's, cool. it's a bit fun if you're bored, but still a bit gimmicky. Whereas with... Whereas with... Uh, Lita here 
Her backpack is definitely much more manageable. Because she doesn't have the entire car on her back. And keep in mind, this was used for the previous Elite figure. In the Netflix line. Whereas if this, this is an entirely new mold. So yeah. I'm, I think you can tell which one I prefer. Now, for the articulation, let me just get these guns out of her hands. Well, her head can go side to side. Can't tell if it's on a ball joint or not, because I can't really get it to move up and down. Her arms can move, although the shoulder joints do get in the way. Of course, she can T-pose. She's got an elbow joint. She got a bicep rotation. She got a fist uh, rotation, waist rotation. Legs can go forward that far, back about that far. Good knee joints. This can swivel. She can do a split up to there. Of course, she can do a good ankle pivot. So she can do this if you want. So yeah, you can get her into some good uh, battle stances, or you could get her into some other poses, which I do not recommend you do. Seriously, if you do that, then I, I recommend you, that you go touch some grass instead. Ugh. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this figure. Complaints? Well, I have had... Issues with the feet and these panels coming off. But that's actually pretty much the only complaints I actually have. So, do I recommend this figure? Well, this is definitely a major improvement over the previous Elite figure. So, absolutely. Is she better than the Power of the Primes figure, though? Well, one, I don't have that figure, and two, that figure was bigger, well, that rhymed, but that figure was much larger, it turned into a jet, and, well, it was going for something else, seeing how that was a, a combined torso, and this is just meant to be cartoon accurate, so I can't really compare this figure to the Power of the Primes figure. But compared to, to the Netflix figure, it's definitely a, a, it's definitely an improvement. So comparing it to that figure, I absolutely recommend it. I mean, seriously, even though as of the time of recording, I think I've only got like what like three female Transformers right now. Those being Earthrise RC. Prime Universe RC from Legacy and, and well, uh, this girl, or gal, and I do have the Speedia Override coming soon. I think this is probably my favourite out, out of them so far, of, of, with Override coming soon. Now, she could be overthrown very uh, soon. Wait, yeah, this is a really good figure, so I definitely do recommend her. Well, this has been my review on Legacy. Uh, well, I, well, I can't even pronounce it right, but this has been my review on Legacy uh, uh, Little One. And this is Charlie Young signing off.